What's going on, my Fly Hippie family? It's your boy Izzy. Welcome if you're new. Kaylin Clark fans have been ripping a new one in the USA team, man. And they also been giving it to Shanae, too. Before we get into all of it, y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up for your boy. If you like the content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit at least 9,000 by the end of the day, man. So if y'all can help your boy with that, man, I highly appreciate that. And don't forget to get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this. Let's get it. I think this is going to go towards the people who were saying, I don't know basketball. And they were saying, like, you know, the best players, uh, they belong on the team. It's the best players, the best players. Diana Taurasi gave me nothing in 14 minutes. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, this is what, when I brought up the Caitlin Clark thing, and I was like, look, if y'all picking the best players, why is Diana Taurasi there? Y'all kept saying experience and all this other stuff. She must got a mean mouth game, making the players like perform very well just from what she's saying because she's not helping on the court. Chelsea, she only had one good game so far, which was the Japan game. She dropped 13 assists. Other than that, she's not giving me nothing out here, man. She's not giving me anything. Kelsey Plum, I think she had two games where she wasn't really giving me anything. Now let's look at what they did with Germany, okay? Jewel, they haven't been using Jewel very well either. Like, Jewel haven't been contributing as much either. Uh, once again, Diana Taurasi, nothing, okay? Not giving me anything here. Chelsea Gray, then you only did six minutes. Like, now, one is 40, one is still injured, in my opinion. Now, availability is another attribute that I think a lot of people forget. Chelsea Gray has to be available if she's going to be one of the best players to be picked for this team. That's just in my opinion. Brittany Griner, 18 minutes, tallest thing on the court. All you can give me is four. All you can give me is four rebounds. I don't want to bash these women, okay? I just want to make sure y'all understand what, what I was saying when it was coming to best players. If you're picking the best players for or the best team, your politics wouldn't get in the way of having the best players on there, as Arike stated. You let your politics get in the way. This is not a decision of best players. Now, I want to go to this tweet, man, Stat Mamba. The starting guards for Team USA have four total points in the Olympics, two from 12 from, from the field, and then 0 for 7 from 3. Now, if Kaitlyn Clark would have did this, race baiters, all these other people would love to go at her. Oh, she trash. Oh, especially the AR soldiers. I want that same energy for this right here. The one person who was saying Arike isn't even a good shooter, she shoot 30% from the field, I don't know how you leave a Rike off of there, but but state that you're trying to make the best team. I, I don't I don't get it. All right, so let's read what some of the fans saying, man. And Caitlin wasn't ready for the competition. Wasn't better than the Chelsea Gray or Kelsey Plums because she wasn't in the trenches with the coach. I guess Caitlin could have been worse. O for O for O. <laughs> a, a pure zero stat line, basically. Oh, that would have been mirroring Tarazi's performance. How can you refute what he's saying? He got you red-handed right here in 4K. Goes to show that DT and Gray were sympathy votes and didn't deserve it other, over others who are better right now. They got smacked in the All-Star game. Then they're going out here not really performing well. It's all adding up. The paper trail is starting to show that you was on some BS when you left them to off of the, off of the team. And they said Caitlin Clark wasn't ready. They, they calling you out, man. Oh, that's the same amount of points Caitlin scored in her last game. 0 for 7 from 3, too. Ariel should have been there. Simply ceremonial picks. Politics. That's what got in the way. Politics got in the way, man. And they are still blowing out the competition. Nice. And I was going to bring that up, too. They're saying USA can barely win. Look at the score. A lot of people would say this is not even our A team. This is our B team over there winning. D, I wonder if there is someone who could have helped that situation. We already know who to help. Y'all telling me Caitlin Clark couldn't go over there and get you at least five assists a game? I know the greatness that the game has always had. But Caitlin Clark is bringing it to new heights, exponential heights. And it's bringing and ushering the moment that we have always been waiting for. And I think a lot of times when you speak positively on other players, people take that as a shot to Caitlin. It's not. You have to celebrate those who are also advancing the game, but also recognize that Caitlin is is doing things at a speed, at light speed for us, with our business, with our growth, with our viewership. 
and I and a lot of people get so mad because like I say players understand this. Yes, players understand this. And like I'm there in the locker rooms after the All Star game where everyone is loving on each other, supporting each other. Good luck, you know, in Paris. Hey, good luck the second half of the season. Now, when you go out there in front of the bright light and you compete and it gets dirty and it gets competitive, people make that the personality of who these women are. That's not what it is. So, you know, I think that's the frustrating part, knowing the real situation, but also knowing um, knowing what the outer perception is. Caitlin Clark is the most impactful player we've seen in a generation and probably when it comes to moving the business forward in the game we've ever seen. And um, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of this moment that she's helping elevate. A lot of people was giving Shanae some heat on YouTube because of what she was saying. Back when the list dropped, I feel like she wasn't really advocating that they made the right decisions. She was always for having Caitlin Clark on the team. She, it was some things I did disagree with what she was saying. She was like, oh, the world is catching up. Um, are we setting her up for success? It's tougher over there. Um, and the things we want to see, we probably won't see with Caitlin Clark being on the team. Caitlin Clark showed us that she could give us what we want to see in the All-Star game. You can't sit here and convince me that what Caitlin Clark did against the USA team won't happen over there. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's the best team. I mean, who <laughs> who gonna stop her if the best team can't even stop her from getting 10 assists? You giving her the best players in the WNBA. How much more success could you set her up for? <laughs> I mean, 